Hi, I'm Sultan, a professional web analyst. In this video, I will show you step by step how to set up TikTok conversion API using Google Tag Manager and step.io. This setup makes your tracking more accurate and reliable and ensures events are sent to TikTok both from the browser and server. Let's get started. Before we jump into the setup, let me quickly show you what you will need for TikTok conversion API implementation. As you can see here on my checklist, first you'll need a TikTok business account with a pixel already created. Then a GTM web container with your TikTok tags like purchase, checkout, add to cart, etc. A GTM server container which will host on step.io. You'll also need a subdomain for the server setup. And finally, GFO tags that send data to the server and TikTok conversion API tag in server GTM to forward events to TikTok. So these are the things you need ready before starting the setup. Now let's move step by step. Let's begin by assuming that you have a TikTok business account with pixel integration along with a Google Tag Manager account that includes a web container where the TikTok pixel tags are set up. We'll also assume that your TikTok business account is connected with a web container. And if you don't already have these things set up, I've shared some video links in the description that you can watch and follow to get them done. Here you can see this is my TikTok business center where I have already created a pixel. Let me show you. I will open TikTok events manager. I would like to grab your attention to this task. You can see finish setting up your TikTok pixel plus events API connection. We can see data set created. That means pixel created, then base code installed, then browser events received. Now we are going to set up server events. When API setup will be complete, this bar also turned into green like others. So for now, I'm going to open the pixel. There you go. This is the overview of the pixel. I will keep it as it is. This is my Google Tag Manager account where I have already created the web container and set up tags for TikTok events like purchase, checkout, add to cart, view content, etc. These tags are for TikTok events. And this is my site where I have set up the tags. Now, according to this document, I will create a GTM server container. So open your Google Tag Manager account, then open admin section. Then click on the plus icon in the container section. Then name the container. I will name it according to my website. Then target the platform server. Then create. There you go. Our server container is already created. For now, I'm going to close this pop-up message. I can get this pop-up message again if I click on this container ID. Okay. This container interface a little bit different from the interface of the web container because web container doesn't include client section as server container does. Now we have to host this server container on a cloud server. And for that, I will use step.io. If I open my documents again, we have completed this step. Now I will create a container on step.io. You can see I've already opened step.io account. If you don't have any account on step.io, you can create it the process is very easy. Nevertheless, if you can't do that, I have left a video link in the description. Please check that out. Now either I can create a container clicking on this button or I can go to SGTM. Here's the same button, create a SGTM container. Now name this container. Then container configuration. For this ID, I have to open my Google Tag Manager server container, then click on the container ID. You can see there are two options, automatically provision tagging server. It will provision a server on Google Cloud Platform. Since I'm not gonna use Google Cloud Platform, so I have to choose from here manually provision tagging server. Here is the container configuration ID. So I will copy it and go to step container. Then I will paste it here. Then server location. You can see choose your server location based on the location of most of your clients. There are two options. We can choose from here regional only. It's ideal if most of our clients are located in one region. Or we can choose from here global multi-zone. It fits best if your clients are located worldwide. According to my audience, I'm gonna select this option and the location will be then create container. Now you can buy a subscription plan, monthly or annual. For this tutorial, I will go with the free plan. There we go. Our server container is ready and it's running. Now let's open the docs. We have completed this step. Then subdomain setup. Open step container. If I scroll down, you can see 
it's giving us a domain name but we can use a custom subdomain and that's the best practice i have left a video link in the description on how to create a subdomain and configure here for this tutorial i will use this default domain name so i will click here to copy it and then open gtm server container then close it go to admin section then open container settings then under the server container urls click add url and paste here the domain name then save so we have completed the subdomain setup step then we need to create tags of ga4 to send to as gtm that means server container of gtm so open google tag manager account and then open web container now in the web container the tags i'll use to send events to the server container are going to be ga4 tags for example when i set up the page view event i need to provide a ga4 measurement id here's the important part this doesn't have to be a real J4 account if you don't have already one. You can use your actual measurement ID if you have J4 set up. That's the recommended way. But if you don't have a J4 account, no worries. You can just use a made up measurement ID and it will still work perfectly fine for server side tracking. So in short, if you have a J4 property, use the real measurement ID. If not, just use a fake one. It still works for sending events to the server container. Here, one more thing you should know before choosing whether to use a real or fake J4 measurement ID. If you decide to use a real J4 measurement ID from your J4 property, the event flow from the web container will actually stop midway. That's because J4 is designed to expect the server container to handle the event and forward it. So unless you also set up a J4 tag inside your server container, the events won't reach J4 reporting they will just stop at the server. On the other hand, if you use a made up measurement ID, the events will only be used to pass data into the server container and won't try to reach J4. This is why a fake ID works fine for TikTok conversion API setup because the goal is just to collect the data in the server container and then send it to TikTok. So in short, for real J4 ID, you must also configure J4 tags in your server container to keep the data flowing into J4 and for fake J4 ID, it's safe to use if you only want the events for TikTok conversion API without reporting in J4. So let's create the first tag. Then open tag section. Take a new tag. Tag configuration. Then Google Analytics. Then Google Tag. In the field of tag ID, I have to enter here J4 measurement ID. For this tutorial, I will use a fake measurement ID. There you go. Then open configuration settings. Then add parameter. This parameter name will be server container URL. Here it is. Then in the value field, I have to enter here the domain name that's provided by step container. So I will open step container. Then again, copy the URL. Then paste here. I will add another parameter and that's send page view. The value will be true. Then go to trigger section. The trigger will be initialization all pages. And I will entitle the tag TikTok server side page view. Then save. There you go. This is our tag. Now we will check if this tag is being passed to server container. So I will go to preview from both of server container and web container. First, I will open server container. Then go to preview. Then open web container and go to preview. Enter the website's URL, then connect. Tag Assistant connected. Now let's open Tag Assistant tab. Click on continue. We can see our TikTok server side page view has been fired successfully. If I open server side container preview mode, we can see we have also heard the page view event. Now we have to create a tag on server container to send this event to TikTok server. If I open the docs, we can see we have created tag of g4 to send to sgtm so i'm gonna check it next we have to create a tag on sgtm to send events to tiktok server so let's create it open server container then go to tags take a new tag tag configuration then we have to open the community template gallery then i will search here tiktok conversion api here it is tiktok events api official by tiktok then add to workspace. Then in the TikTok event configuration, I have to enter here TikTok pixel ID. So I will open events manager, then copy the pixel ID, then paste here. 
then I need access token. I will again open TikTok Events Manager, then open Settings tab. I scroll down. Here it is, Events API. We have an option to generate access token. Then copy the token. Go to Server Container, then paste here. Then event name will be a built-in variable event name. It's added to the workspace by default. If you don't have this variable on your container, you can add it from the built-in variable. You will get it here, event name. It's already enabled, so I'm going to choose that. Then parameter override. We should enter here test event code to test the setup. For this code, I will open TikTok Events Manager, then open test events. Here it is. I will copy it then paste here. If you want to test the tag setup, you should enter here the test event code. This code changes every 24 hours. So if you want to test the setup after 24 hours, then you have to change this test code. Then we can see advanced matching configurations. This interface is exactly the same as we saw in the web container tag setup like email, phone number, external ID, then properties, for example, product data. Here, if I select use Google Analytics e-commerce data layer, then we'll get deduplication configurations. We should enter here event ID to deduplicate browser events and server events and other configurations, page URL, page referral, IP, user agent. If I use custom data, then we can see this is the same as we saw in web container tag setup like single content, multiple contents, no contents, then content ID, content type, content name, category, price, quantity, value, currency, description, etc. For page view event, TikTok doesn't actually require any additional parameters. It just needs to know that a page has been viewed. That means I don't need to configure fields like value, currency, or content IDs here. So for this page view tag, I leave all the parameter fields empty and just set up the trigger. Later in this tutorial series, when I show you how to configure events like add to cart or purchase, etc., then I will cover how to map all the parameters properly. Since this video is already going to be a bit Long, I'll keep it simple here and only focus on the page view setup. So let's set up the trigger. For page view event, I will choose all pages. Then I will enter till the tag TikTok events API setup. Then save. There you go. Here's the tag. If I open the doc again, we have completed this step also. The next step is to test and debug. Let's open server container. Then go preview again. Then open web container and go to preview again. Tag assistant connected. If I open TikTok pixel helper extension, then we can see page view event has been fired. If I go to tag assistant tab, then click on continue. We can see TikTok server container page view fired. Then I will open server container preview mode. We can see here also page view event. If I click here, we can see server container tag TikTok events API that we have just created. It's fired and succeeded. If I open this tag, we can see it's fired. Also, we can see outgoing HTTP requests from server with a post 200 response, which confirms that everything is working properly. But keep in mind, this page view event setup on the server container is only the beginning of the TikTok events API setup. It's not the full implementation. In the next videos, we'll go deeper and set up additional tags with parameters to complete the process. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tracking tutorials. And do you need any help with TikTok Pixel, Conversion API or any other tracking setup? I offer professional tracking services for platforms like TikTok, Meta, GF4, Google Ads, Pinterest and more. You can hire me on Upwork or Fiverr or reach out via email or WhatsApp number like you can see below the video. All the links are in the video description too. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.